Where we begin is actually indoors over at Nazareth Area High School. Getting started with a look at an EPC boys volleyball matchup between Nazareth and Liberty. The Hurricanes recorded a three set sweep over Pocono Mountain West on Tuesday, while the host in the Blue Eagles played on Tuesday as well, but suffering a 3 0 loss to Emmaus and hoping to recover with a win at home. Sarah Jones has the details from Nazareth Area High School. Liberty and Nazareth each with only one loss on the season and looking to keep it that way with the Hurricanes last loss coming all the way back in its season opener, but the sting of Nazareth's first loss still fresh coming into the Thursday night contest. It's Liberty staying a step ahead in the first set with Frank Benedetto tallying a kill to make it 14-12, but the group would allow the home team to creep ahead as Ben Mathias notches an ace to make it game point Blue Eagles. Still, it's Christian Matos keeping the group alive with the setter dump, his team down by just one. And Jackson Beaky tips it over the block to steal the first set for Nazareth. The two teams would match each other point for point in the second until the Hurricanes are able to slip away, with Matos assisting Adam Middle with the kill from the right side for the 25-18 set win and his 2,000th career assist. The Hurricanes would lead for the entire third set, closing it with another kill from middle to take it 25-19. But in the fourth, it's the home team jumping out to a 7-4 lead with Owen Hasker and Will Atia teaming up for the block and would hold that lead as Josh Harklerode tallies one of his eight kills on the night. And on game point, it's Hasker with the rejection and the Hurricanes unable to return it, forcing a fifth and final set. Another close start to that fifth set as Matos finds the hardwood to make it 9-8 Liberty. And it's Beaky with the swing and a quick return, but Atia slams it off the block to make it 13-12. Beaky would notch yet another of his 17 total kills for match point. And Joey Colucci shuts down Liberty's final attack effort to take the set 15-13 and the match 3-2. Well, I mean, we were hype. Like, we were just really energetic, and that's what brought us into the second set, even though we lost. But, like... Us knowing that we can win and compete with them is just, that's all we need, just that confidence boost. After suffering a 3 nothing loss to Emmaus just two days ago, this Nazareth group had specific adjustments it wanted to implement for tonight's match, and those improvements were instrumental as the team started by handing Liberty its first set loss in five matches, gaining the momentum and belief necessary to take the win. We had a, uh, a middle come in to block right side, so... Uh, close up that outside hitter and he did an amazing job. I'm so happy um, and it just clicked and I think that's what helped us get our win tonight. Big energy, you know, we were getting hype after every kill and I think some of the things that led us to our win was very, very strong serve receive and um, pressure on the service, the service line. Everything we had in our whole body, in our whole mind, everything. We had to push the whole night. That was a good, very, very good team. But it's important because that shows us we can take on any team in this league. I think if they would have came out taking the first set, it would have been a very different game. It's crucial that we came in immediately with the energy, with the power, with the uh, aggressiveness. At Nazareth Area High School, I'm Sierra Jones for the Service Electric Network. Thanks, Sierra. A huge win for Nazareth in the group's first five-set match of the season. Energy was a big factor in the match, and it's something the group will hope to carry into its next few matchups. The team has meetings with Freedom, Bethlehem Catholic, and Southern Lehigh up next, but starting with the Pates on Friday. Speaking of the Pates, let's take a look at their score from last night. Them, along with some other teams in action in boys volleyball. We're actually going to start at the top, though. Whitehall handing Deer up the three-set sweep to improve to six and two overall. That's also their sixth straight win. In. For the Zeffs, Jack Cucker led with 14 kills and three aces. Ethan Ringenberger also added 20 assists, five kills and two aces. Emmaus took it to Northampton three to one. But how about the K-Kids doing something no team has done yet this year in handing Emmaus a set loss? Again, Emmaus still winning three to one and improving though to eight and zero on the year. Easton and Parkland, meanwhile, going head-to-head. -head. Trojans, no problem there in the three-set sweep to improve to 6-2 and two overall, 5-1 and one in the EPC. They're back on track after that loss to Whitehall. That is also their fourth three-set sweep of the season. Freedom, we talked about getting a win over Pocono Mountain East in five. They're eating two overall. That also marks their third straight win. Bethlehem Catholic, though, falling in five to Pocono Mountain West. West is now two and nine, while the Hawks are just one and six. And then District 1's Neshaminy coming to town to take on Southern Lehigh. They do defeat the Spartans three to zero. Southern Lehigh is now five and four on the season. Jack Welsh padded his stats with 18 assists, one ace, one block, and six digs. They do have a big one up next, as we mentioned before, with Nazareth.